everyone, welcome to this week's YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own special vanilla milkshake. So in order to make your very own special vanilla milkshake, you're going to obviously need a blender. You're going to need one cup for your milk, one tablespoon for your vanilla. I'll be using this kind of vanilla today. You can pick it up at your local grocery store. Or you can also use this and you can choose from a variety of different flavors. And you will need around one to two cups of ice. So let's get started here. So you're going to need whole milk. That's what we'll be using today. Or you can also choose almond milk if you are gluten free or whatever. You can use almond milk or whole milk. It does not matter, it will not mess up your shape whatsoever. Next, we're gonna want our vanilla. Like I said, you can pick this up in a local grocery store. Uh, you'll be able to find that in your grocery store, no doubt about it. So get your vanilla out, and we're also gonna grab a cup from the cabinet. We're gonna get ourselves some ice, because you're gonna need quite a bit of ice to make this special vanilla milkshake. All right, that should be enough ice. So get yourself about a cup of just ice. All right, first things first. You're gonna get out your milk. You're gonna get out your cup. You are gonna measure one cup of milk. And if you're making for multiple people, get yourself two cups of milk. For today, I'll be using two cups of milk because I'm making this shake for multiple people. All right, you can get rid of your warm cup, grab your milk, put that away. So, for your next ingredients, you're gonna get out your vanilla. We will not be using the caramel today. We'll just be using regular vanilla. Once you get that opened up, you got your one tablespoon, and you're going to measure one tablespoon of vanilla. Today, we're gonna to use two tablespoons of vanilla. Because I'm making, like I said, I'm making this for multiple people. Now you may be thinking to yourself, now Max, what if you add too much? Well, if you add too much of this stuff, you're gonna get a very sweet milkshake. Uh, if you add too little, it's gonna be a little bit, um, well, not very sweet, obviously. So um, it depends. Uh, like I said today, I'm making this for multiple people. Whenever you get really good at this shape, you'll be able to just measure it out without using any measuring material. So next, we're gonna add our cup of ice. Let's splash it. Let's put our hand over there. Perfect. Now we've added our ice in. One more cube. Let's set that glass in the sink. We're gonna put on the top for the blender. We're gonna let this thing blend. And do its job. Okay, folks, so you're probably gonna want to blend this for around 30 seconds. If yours has all the options like this one, click the milkshake and let's get started. All right, so let's check this out. Okay, so right now it's looking very much um, not watered down. It just looks very smooth. We want it to be pretty thick. So right now it's looking a little bit too smooth. We're gonna get a little bit thicker by adding some more ice cubes. All right, so let's add our ice cubes. And uh, I probably have not uh, had a chance to add this, but remember if you put too little ice cubes in, like I said, it will become too smooth. You want this to be pretty thick type of shake. And if you add uh, too much ice cubes, it's gonna clump up in your blender. It's not gonna be able to handle it. So if you add too much, just add some more. Okay, folks, so right now, this is looking like a very thick milkshake, and that's exactly what you want. So get yourself out a nice glass, and uh, let's see how this tastes. So if you're a type of a uh, chocolate type person, you can add in your Hershey's chocolate right here. And if you like whipped cream, you can also add some whipped cream on top. Get yourself out a nice straw. And there you go, your very own vanilla milkshake. 
That's good. Thanks for watching this week's video, guys. Please consider subscribing and liking the video. Tell me down in the comments if you enjoyed the shake. I certainly did. It turned out quite well. Thanks for watching. As always, we'll see you next time. It's so good.